rich relations give Crust of bread and such You alone can take what you need But don't, don't you take too much Your mama may have And your papa may have God bless the child Hey guys, I'm Eric Arsenault. I am a vocal coach and recording artist, although if you're watching this video, I'm sure you know that already. I'm here at Q Studios. Um, it's actually the first studio that I ever recorded at when I came up to the DC area from my hometown of New Orleans. And now I'm back. I'm working on a duet with Tina B, the jazz soul vocalist, and she laid down her vocals already, so now I'm laying mine down. And I thought this would be a great opportunity to share with you guys some tips on healthy falsetto and head voice usage because I have to use that register a lot in this song. And um, instead of using scales or using like nursery rhyme stuff, I thought it would be cool if you watched me apply it to an actual song in real time and I'll share those tips with you so you can start using it like today. Before we get into the nitty gritty of the techniques, let's start talking about the difference between head voice and falsetto. I actually hate talking about this part because it gets pretty confusing. Um, there is a difference particularly as it pertains to chord closure or vocal fold closure. When you start talking about that with the average singer, it becomes just confusing and kind of pointless. So I'd rather focus on what it means in more practical terms. For one, falsetto um, is weak and it's detached and you can't get dynamic range with it, which is why a lot of times when you're using falsetto, you feel stuck, you feel trapped, you feel like it's weak. You're like, ah, ah. Um, Ariana Grande is super popular right now, and I have a lot of female vocalists and some male vocalists who want to sing her songs like, one more time, I need, and they can't get any, one more time, da 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 da. Head voice has dynamic range. I can get loud with it, or I can be light. There's a, there's range, dynamically. That's really all there is to it. Head voice gives you dynamic range and depth of sound and also connects to chest voice via the mixed voice or va mixta or passaggio or whatever term you want to use. Whereas falsetto is detached and is kind of wimpy and weak. So really, um, this lesson will be more about how to really tap into head voice. Money. You got lots of friends. And they crowd around your door. Now, I know that a lot of people want the, um, <laughs> what I call the Ariana Grande head voice, the Mariah Carey head voice, the one more time. I get that. And at the end of the video, I'm going to explain um, how to get that sound healthily. But right now, I want to give you three tips for finding power in your head voice clarity for the sake of vocal health. So tip number one is to find your head voice through your chest voice. Like I said, authentic head voice can transition from this voice on up into this voice. Ah. So it sounds like one continuous, I probably look like a crazy person. <laughs> I make a lot of weird faces when I sing. Um, you want to connect seamlessly from the bottom to the top. If you get a ah, uh, that's, you're disconnecting. And I don't want to be confusing. Technically, that could even still be head voice. But basically, a surefire way to find a stronger sound or a more, and by stronger, I don't even necessarily mean loud, but a more solid kind of reliable tone is to find it by going from chest voice ah, into head voice with a blend, OK? So if you're having difficulty doing that, you could use a trill. Um, and that could help you to find that connection. And you can blend. If you can find it through there, then eventually you can go right to it. So if I can, um, I don't know, uh, in chest voice, uh, so I blended, and now uh, uh, I can jump right to head voice. I know where it is, OK? And I'm just throwing out, like, I'm just kind of splatting out sound right now. It doesn't necessarily have to sound that abrasive, but um, we'll talk about playing with it in a second. Tip number two 
carries on from the understanding that you know how to find your true head voice. So you know how to connect it from chest. Again, that might take a little practice, so don't feel vexed if, if um, it doesn't come effortlessly. It might take time, and that's okay. But once you've got that, tip number two, actually could still be an apply to tip number one, and that is don't aspirate your tone. A lot of times when I hear people try to aim for a head force, even a falsetto note, they try to breathe it out. They, ha, ha. <laughs> Again, there are healthy ways to do breathy. That's not it. So you want to go right to the vowel. Instead of ha, ha, think ah, 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 go right to the vowel. It doesn't mean you have to bash your throat. It doesn't mean ah, 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 ah. People start pinching and stuff. No, if you drop your jaw, ah, ah, you're just speaking an ah, or an o, oh, or o, oh, o, oh, e, e, whatever the vowel is, just go to the vowel. Um, e, i, o, u, you know, whatever. Instead of he, hi, I know it can be misleading, because some of your favorite singers, they might totally sound like they're and you're like, oh, well, I want to do that. But trust me, the ones who could do it live, there's a core there. There's a core. An example I give, when Celine Dion came out with My Heart Will Go On, that satanic song that they played so many times I wanted to, like, destroy every radio around, um, a, lot of, a lot of female vocalists would try to sing it, and they would do a, um, a every night in my dreams I see you, I feel you. And it was just weak and powerless. It's not because they didn't have talent. It's not because they didn't have a good voice. But what they didn't realize, Celine was giving it core. I see you, I feel you. Now I'm not Celine Dion, but you get the approach is different. So it's not, I see you. No, it's I, I, ah, ah. Even if you want to reduce it to an ah, I see you, I feel you. There's this core there. How much core you add is up to you as an artist and your skill level. But there's got to be some kind of a core there to give the tone body. Otherwise, the tone will kind of evaporate into nothing. And you're going to wear your voice out. You're not going to have control. You're going to feel like you're weak. You can't, you can't go back and forth between chest voice and head voice, especially on songs that require you to um, move from um, chest voice and up into head and then back down into chest and then back up into head. If you have to keep going back and forth and you don't have a core, you're going to be more like going from chest to this and then trying to go back into this. It's going to be really yodely and not in a good way, okay? Um, yeah, there is good yodeling. Yodeling, yodeling, yodeling. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we have tip number three. And tip number three is about what I call head voice belting. And you'll hear me use that a lot. Um, it's that kind of, it's used a lot in gospel singing. It's even used in classical singing to a degree, depending on what kind of um, singing's being done. Um, it's used in rock. And that is like, that kind of singing. And we utilize what we call the witch's voice. It's that, <laughs> like, I'll get you. The hard part with this technique is that um, the temptation is to squeeze your throat when really all you have to do is squeeze the sound. So it's like, if we take that idea of we connect from head voice from our chest, tip number one, we don't aspirate the tone, tip number two. So now I have like a, ah, ah, ah. It might sound too pure for certain for certain styles. Um, that might not be what you want if you're trying to do like a Jesse J song. You know, you might want, you know, and I'm I'm, I'm exaggerating exaggerating it to an extreme that you don't necessarily have to do. There's definitely, if I have a witchometer, I can go like. You can play with the twang of it. Twang is another kind of slangy term that we vocal coaches use to describe it. But you can play with that. It's just bending that sound. The key is play with the sound. Don't squeeze your throat. Just think of imitating that witch's voice. It's like, you can do an without going, you don't have to pinch inside, if you get what I'm saying. You might have to play with it. The key is give yourself permission to not sound like yourself at first. That's something a lot of people struggle with. Like, oh, it doesn't sound pretty. N no, and it's not, so really, it's not supposed to. You're trying to, yeah, 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 yeah. it's a different kind of sound. You're not doing, ha, ha, 
very different kind of styles for different kind of things. But I want you to have options. So, and there isn't in between. When I work with my female Broadway clients, they have to do these kind of Broadway boots, all right? They have to do that all the time. If, you, if you're in Broadway at all, it's about a lot of the high notes for smart women are head voice. They're just really, really witchy. And so sometimes people go too far, um, and you can definitely find clips of that. But it's a matter of personal taste, so I can't even say it's too far because what's too far to me might be just right for you. I might do a lot of stuff you think is too far. So welcome to being an artist. But anyway, to recap, tip one, connect from chest voice. Be patient with yourself. It may not be effortless, but practice going from chest voice. Ah, find your head voice from chest, and you'll be able to draw some strength from the lower register. Tip number two, don't, don't breathe your voice out. Speak it out, even in head voice. So if I say, ah, 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 it's not ah, ah, ha, ha, ha. No. <laughs> and tip number three, get witchy with it a little bit. <laughs> it should be on a t-shirt. Um, <laughs> but if you play with it, think of singers like Erica Badu, any gospel or soul. If, you, if, you, if you're if you familiar at all with gospel music or like old school soul, you've heard that. Hey, I, 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 that kind of sound a lot. In rock singing, Steven Tyler does a lot. Crazy, crazy. You know, it's that kind of sound. You're bending sound, not your body. Okay. Well, actually, in a way, you are kind of tilting the larynx. That's what, We're not going to get into all that right now. Voice science be damned for now. Let's stick to like practical stuff. So... Those are the top three tips, but I have a bonus tip for you on how you can do the airy stuff if you want to smartly. So the Bible says, and it still is news. Mama may have, and your papa may have. So I have to say, um, before I show you this tip, if you want to take voice lessons with me, go to aapproach.com. All the information is there. We've revised the site. We've revised the site to make it a lot um, clearer and simpler and all that stuff. Um, yeah, so I just I had to shameless plug. So that being said, um, breathy tones need core. And a good way to find the core is through doing a very simple technique that would be just called skipping rocks. You might have seen it in another video. And so it's just a... <laughs> I'm aspirating on purpose, and I'm like, but you just said don't aspirate. I know, but this is a very conscious, controlled, concentrated aspirate. So this is a very controlled aspirate. We call them concentrated aspirates. So instead of, I'm, and what you want to practice with this, it helps you to find that sense of your vocal cords closing so that you can get some nice, you, but yet you still have freedom. It's a light touch. So it doesn't have to be ah, or eh. there is an in-between. It doesn't have to be either be super breathy or super witchy. It can be ah, which is nicely in between or ah, a little more. Ah, you can play with it, but <laughs> it'll help you find the core. Now, you might be struggling with this right now. This might be like, <laughs> be patient with yourself and also go slow. <laughs> Start in chest voice actually to get your bearings. <laughs> Notice there's a stop. There's like a, there's a, <laughs> I'm not going, <laughs> 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 I'm using short, concentrated puffs of breath. So a little bit of airiness, but some focus, some focusness, focusness, some focus as well. So, ah, ah. so I am doing a little bit of an aspirate, as you can hear. Ah, ah. But it's a more focused one instead of a. Ah. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. There's freedom. And there's air, but there's a core. There's a there's a there's a tonal center. It almost sounds like I'm talking about a candy bar. Like there's, a, there's a gooey, chocolatey center inside your voice. There's a delicious center 
in the <laughs> okay, I never said I wasn't lame. I just know some stuff about voice stuff. So if you practice the he he he, doesn't have to be um, even on a scale or anything. Just work notes that you want to work. It works best if you work your entire voice as opposed to just head voice. But you can totally apply this to head voice. Um, also, I have to say, um, <laughs> I have an online course at aeroproach.com as well. Phase one goes over this and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, it's for people who are professionals or even beginners who want to build a strong foundation. We have phase two, if you feel like you're more advanced or if you've already done phase one, it gets deeper into really opening the throat and really using your body to get a bigger sound. That's another aspect of getting a, um, a more controlled head voice. Um, and I dare say more beauty, even though that's very subjective and a matter of opinion, but you can get a lot more freedom that's for sure. And more health when you learn how to really get your body integrated into the process of making sound. Um, and also, yeah, <laughs> for now, that's it. In voice lessons with me through Skype, through FaceTime, whatever, in person, depending on where you are. So um, I guess that's it. Kind of, it's like an anticlimactic ending. But um, <laughs> I hope this stuff helps. And um, leave questions in the comment section. I'll be around to answer. And um, until next time. Peace. God bless the child. That's God. He's got shadows all the last night. Shalom. That's God's shadows all.